All right. How's it going, everyone? We are live. Hopefully everything sounds okay. We've been really working on this setup and I think it's finally good. Let me know if you can hear me okay. If you can, just put a one in the chat and I'll know that. Oh, the first day that we signed up for Monday.com, our department was already able to connect our... That is not an ad for me. That's an ad on YouTube. Sorry about that. So yeah, let me know in the chat. Give me a one in the chat if you can hear me okay. If it's a little low or there's any feedback, just let me know. Um, maybe I should just test this really quick and hear it so I can make sure everything sounds okay here. Dot com. So yeah, let me know in the chat. Give me a Okay, it sounds good to me. It's a little, uh, a little grainy though. Is it grainy for everybody? Let me see if I can change the quality here. Looks like maybe we need to up the bit rate on this, but that might be for a future video. We're a little low on the bit rate here. Maybe I should just up this to, uh, I don't know, 5,000, maybe 10,000. I don't want to go too high. Up this and tell me if it starts crashing the stream. Hopefully it doesn't. So yeah, last few days we've been working on getting this setup going. I actually have another camera up here. So you, you, you'll you be able to see the setup in one of our future videos. and. I want to actually walk you through it because if you're looking to start doing videos and you want to start going live and make money on YouTube, um, I want to show you the setup because it's pretty intense. All right. Welcome. Darren says, I wasn't notified and the subscription was canceled support. Oh, we're talking about the uh, software. Send us an email support at Shinify. No, no, no. Support at chasereiner.com. I need to get a Shinify email. So today what I want to do is something a little bit different than what I've been doing on the live streams and the live streams in the last ones, I've been kind of just walking you through how to get started, how to begin if you've never earned money online before. But in this one, I want to actually show you behind the scenes what's going on in my business. And the reason I want to show you this is because I think it's important for you to see what are some of the downfalls of running an online business. A lot of people, I think, look at me and they go, wow, that guy's making all this money. I would love to do the same thing. And I'm going to tell you something. Just because somebody's making a lot of money doesn't necessarily mean that everything is running smoothly and everything's working out all the time. In fact, it's pretty much the opposite. When you're running an online business, it's almost every day something breaks, something goes wrong, and it's a lot of work. So I don't really spend a lot of time just having fun. I, I spent a lot of time working. I spent a lot of time thinking and there's always something going on. So I wanted to kind of show you what's going on in the business, go show you what's going on behind the scenes. And that way you can kind of see, you know, if this is right for you, if you want to do something similar and maybe you can learn something from all the things that I'm going through right now with our business. So again, if you can hear me, okay, give me a yes in the chat. I just want to make sure everything sounds okay. I just upped the bit rate. So it seems like maybe the stream is a little bit smoother now. I also just change it to 1080. So it looks like, yeah, I'll be, I'll be recording this by the way. And I'm going to edit, edit the video and post it after as well. Juvon says, I want to start making money. Okay. Don't worry. You're in the right place. All right. I think we're good to go here. Let me, uh, yeah, yeah, we're good. I would, I can't wait to show you this setup, by the way. It's really, really cool. Um, when we get this other camera hooked up, I think you're going to like the, uh, the video we're going to make on it. All right, let me switch to my screen here. By the way, if you're not in our Discord server, you definitely should be. It's a great place for staying updated, talking to other people that are also trying to earn money with AI and video. And if you're not in there, I will actually go drop a link in the chat really quick, just so you can go join it, because this is a cool place to be. I just dropped it in chat. All right, so let's talk about, first of all, the money. That's what everybody's here for, right? So you can see on Stripe, we did $1,784 yesterday. Today we're at 562. It is 11 a.m. here. And on PayPal, it won't report the last two days for some reason. So it's, I think, around $3,000 we did, $4,000 yesterday. But the point here is we're making anywhere between $100,000 to $200,000 a month with our business. Now, that doesn't mean we net it we gross that, uh, that revenue. Um, after we pay out our employees and pay for everything that we're paying for, we're looking at maybe a 70% profit, 60%, I don't know. But um, the cool thing about online businesses is they're usually pretty high net profit because 
especially in our business, we're not spending money on ads. It's all organic. Now you can spend money on ads and you can make a lot more money spending money on ads, but you can also lose a lot more money. So one of the things you want to think about when you're doing the in online business is your ratios. Do you want to be super high ad spend, you know, tons of uh, employees, tons of expenses or do, and, and make a lot of money? Or do you want to make a little bit less money, have less expenses and less maintenance and scale a little bit slower? It's kind of up to you. But um, when you start out, you don't need to be spending a bunch of money on on things. In fact, when you start out, you really just want to start out learning how to make a few bucks yourself. And then when you do that, then you can really start to kind of ramp up and figure out, okay, this is what I want to do to scale this. This is what I want to do to start putting some money into it. So here we can see in the last year, 1.15 million in revenue. We did about another 1 million on PayPal. And the reason why we have two payment processors is because some people prefer using PayPal. Some people prefer using Stripe or credit cards. So either way, you can see we had a big lift here in January and I can tell you what happened there and you can see we're kind of slowing down right now, getting some dips and I'll explain why, or at least my theory on this. Um, but yeah, definitely made one of our biggest months in January. I think we did close to $300,000 between Stripe and PayPal. And in December, we did really, really well. We did about, I think 200. Now, let me tell you something. Remember how I said earlier, you can run ads. We were running in December last year. I'm going to tell you my reasoning here for why I was actually spending ads back in December, spending money on them. It's because I wanted to offload a lot of my money because advertising is a write-off. So if you spend, um, or if I spend, you know, hundred thousand dollars on ads, I get to write off hundred thousand dollars in advertising. What I was doing is I was getting a lot of people interested in something that I was offering. And in January, I sold to all those people. I sold a course or a spreadsheet or something. I sold software, all kinds of stuff. And um, that's why I saw this huge uptick. So I did make a lot more on these months, but I also lost a lot more. I, behind the scenes, I lost a lot of money. So anytime you see somebody that says, oh, I make you know, $2 million, $3 million a year, whatever they make, whatever they're saying, you got to, you got to realize that you don't, you don't know their ratios. So they could have a, a very high cash flow business, but they could have a lot of debt. Okay. And so there's people that have tons of cash flow, but they're millions and millions of dollars in debt. Our business, the cool thing about our business is we have $0 in debt. So we're not spending anything beyond, I mean, what we're spending on labor and the cost to run our products and, you know, APIs and that kind of stuff. So when you model somebody, and this is something that I don't think people realize when they're starting out, it's like, oh, I just want to make money. I just want to make money. I want to model what this person's doing, what this business is doing. But they don't realize that they might model somebody that's in huge debt. They're super stressed. Their business model, they're actually trying to get out of. And so you want to, in my opinion, you want to pick people that are not just high cash flow but their business model is super scalable and it doesn't require a whole lot of debt and stress, okay? So um, I should have got my iPad ready for this so I could draw this out, but let me just bring open the notepad. And again, if you can hear me okay, just give me a one. If, if what I'm saying is making sense to you, give me a one or a yes. And I'm gonna say hi to a few people. Aaron, what's up, dude? Good to see you, loving the new office. Yeah, so this is just a room. Um, we have, I don't know what, four offices in our building maybe yeah four uh and this is actually the smallest one but i kind of wanted to be in this one because it's a little bit out of the way all right so so different types of businesses right and ideally when you start out you don't need to worry about one type of business or another right you don't need to worry about should i sell this thing or that thing everybody's concerned about when they start when they're starting out they're like oh i don't know what to sell I I want to make money, but I, I just don't know. I need the best product, right? I need the best thing. I need, I need to know like all these things. No, you don't. In fact, if you don't have any products, you're actually going to do better. And, and here's why, because there's two types of people that I've found online and most, both, most people don't make money because there's one, there's the first person has a lot of, like a really great product, right? Oh, I have this really great product. I have this idea and I think it can make all this money. Okay. Oh, cool. Who's going to buy it? 
So that's the first type of person, right? They don't ha they have the product, they have the idea, but they don't have the buyers. And then there's a second type of person that, you know, they got views, they got all these people watching, they got these followers, but I don't know how to make money off them. How do you make money off these people, right? Now, if, <laughs> if you could take these two people and just connect them to each other, you could probably make some money, right? But I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why people can't just do both. And I think, I think it's because the people that are focused on the views and the followers are, they have a different mindset than the people that are focusing on the product and the sales. Now, give me just, just quickly in chat, I'm curious, which one do you fall under? Are you, un, are you A, the idea person that has a great product that's worth money, and, but you don't know how to sell it or get followers for it or, or views? Or are you the person that gets views, but you don't know how to make money? That's B. Just curious to see in the chat. So the, the thing that you want to think about, though, is that you, you don't make money with having nobody around you, right? And so ideally, instead of focusing, when you're starting out, instead of focusing on the ideas and the products, focus on just getting views, okay? Now in our business, tying it back to me, because again, I've said this over and over and over, and I'm sure you've heard me say it on other videos if you've watched my other videos, but instead of me just being a broken record here, you don't need a ton of views to start selling things, okay? You wanna think about it like this. How much traffic can you send? And this is the issue with the people that are getting views and they don't know how to make money. It's not because they don't have the product or the idea. It's just because they're not sending traffic and they're not capturing the traffic. And so ideally what you want to specialize in is leads. Don't focus on the idea. Don't focus on the product. Don't focus on the views or the followers or any of that stuff. And this is, this is the secret thing that, that people really don't understand. If they can just focus on getting leads, you don't need a lot of leads to make a good amount of money, okay? If you can get, let's say, 100 leads a week that's, that are interested in buying something from you, you only have to sell 10% of them on a $300 product to make three grand a week, okay? So you don't need, again, a massive amount of views. You don't have to have a, an amazing product. You don't have any of that. You just need to find a few people that have a problem and you are going to help them fix it. Okay. So that's why what we're doing in our business, again, tying it back to us is we're finding the, what the problem is. What are people really struggling with? And what I found people are struggling with is this formula. Okay. Most people online that are watching the videos I create and they're sticking around and they're in the discord server and they're, you know, they're hanging out. The big problem these people have is that they don't understand how to get views that turn into leads, that turn into sales, okay? Very simple formula, ABC. And, and you can see here, uh, this isn't the ABC, this is actually different. This is the ABC. Step one, can I get views? Step two, can I turn those views into leads? Step three, can I, can I sell them on something, okay? If you can understand this formula and specialize in it, you can make an insane amount of money, like crazy. And why is that? Because this formula is repeatable across any thing that you do online. It doesn't matter if you're um, on TikTok. It doesn't matter if you're on Facebook. It doesn't matter if you're on Instagram, YouTube. It doesn't matter if you're in the health niche. It doesn't matter if you're in the uh, SEO, internet marketing. It doesn't matter. What matters is, can you get views that turn into leads that turn into sales? Okay. And, and, and notice how this formula has nothing to do with um, what products to sell. It has nothing to do with what videos to create. It has nothing to do with that because it doesn't matter. What matters is can you just do this formula? Can you get people that are interested in, let's say, um, give me an example. Put in chat. Can somebody put in chat right now an example of something that they'd want to make money off of? Just just a niche. Okay, it could be cats. It doesn't matter because we can we can put this formula into any situation. So in our, in our example, I'm just gonna say AI, right? We're doing AI. Why are we doing AI? Because it's trending, it's working well. People want to buy things around AI. It's, it, it's also something that expands very quickly. It's easy to find solutions around this. It's easy to get views around it. So we choose AI. How do you, how do you know that it's trending? We'll go over to Google Trends. Just go Google Trends. Click here, we'll type in AI, boom. We're gonna look at the uh, last 12 months, look at the last, 2004 till present. Look at that huge trend still going up, still hundred trending. Okay. So it's easy to take something that's trending and get views for it and 
get leads for it because people are interested in it and get sales for it because there's so many different things that we can sell around this. And, and again, it doesn't matter what it is. We can sell coaching. We can sell a service. We can sell products. How do we figure out what to sell around this? Like, how do we figure out how to create a coaching service? How do we just go and look it up or ask AI, go to AI and say, Hey, how do I sell a coaching service around AI? Let's go do it. You want to go over here? Let's go to, uh, this is our tool here. Shineify. Let me type in, how do I sell a coaching service about AI? Okay. Oh, we got a lot of good, um, ideas here. Travel, digital planner, wellness, travel, web hosting and domains, designer, mortgage brokers. So same thing, right? We would just change this over. We go web hosting and domains. All right. We want to get um, views for this, right? So instead of going and trying to figure out how do I get views for this, what we're going to do is we're just going to go see who's already doing it, right? If we need views, we just go and see who's getting views. Look, AI says here, selling a coaching service about AI can be approached in several ways. Here are some ways you can follow. Identify blah, blah, blah. Okay. Anyways, um, let me go here. I'm going to go and say, okay, web hosting and domains, right? So I'm going to go and do a um, unbiased search on Google, which uh, if you're on a Windows, it's control shift N. And I'm going to go to YouTube. I'm going to do a uh, command V, command uh, paste. We're going to search here. And then we're going to look for shorts because shorts are the easiest way to get uh, views right now. I'm going to click on this. Let's listen to it. I've used many website hosts in the past that are slow, lack features, and don't have great customer service. Maybe you feel the same way, and if this is your experience, it's time for some better hosting. For less than the cost of your Netflix subscription, you can get some of the best managed WordPress hosting for your site. Nexus is one of my favorite hosts, and it's fast and reliable, so the website load time won't cost you. So this is literally just an ad, and what you would do is you would replicate this video. Let's take another one. Can you believe that some designers are still hosting their portfolios on a free domain like a Wix or a Webflow domain? Friends, if you're not willing to pay like $5 a year for your own domain, how can you expect? Like, and not to be rude, but this guy's not even speaking proper English. Like he um, mispronounced a few words, which again, it's fine. Like I'm not, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying that you don't even really have to hit a high bar to get views right now. It's, it's actually a lot more simple than you'd think. You can also use AI to do this stuff. Clients to actually pay you a lot of money for your project. So please, if you want to take yourself seriously, put your portfolio site on an actual domain. It's not really expensive and it's going to make you look. Okay, so look, I can go here, captions, and it looks like uh, he turned them off, but I can go over to that link, turn it, uh, plug it into Shineify, and I can go grab that transcription. And I can take that transcription, whatever the transcription is, and then I can use a video generator if I don't want to go and do it myself. And I can use something like Shineify to go and remake that video. So that's just one way to do this, right? But the point is, is that you don't have to be some crazy internet influencer to do this. Um, in fact, you can, you can do a lot of what we're talking about here with brand new accounts. And if you don't want to wait to warm up a brand new account, you can always um, use a technique that I use, which is hire virtual assistants for anywhere between three to $4 an hour to go and find these accounts that you can buy. Um, you know, we just got one with 50,000 followers on it for a hundred, hundred bucks. And we just been reaching out and say, Hey, would you be interested in selling this? They say, yeah, cool. Here, let's start putting our, our, our ads on it. Now, what we want to do though, is we want to come up with goals. Okay. Because Again, tying it back to our company, we're, we're trying to hit certain benchmarks, right? We're trying for our company. We want to be able to get a certain amount of leads every day. We want to get a certain amount of sales and we got to think about the ratios. We got to think about the numbers. So let's say we're getting right now, I don't know, 200 leads a day and we want to get up to, you know, a thousand leads per day, which we've done in the past, but sometimes you get less leads if you don't get, have as many videos that pop off. Um, we have videos that'll get a million views, 2 million views, and we'll start getting a thousand leads a day, you know, 2000 leads a day. And then we'll have other days where the videos aren't doing as well. And, you know, we'll get a couple hundred, but again, a couple hundred leads a day of people that are interested in buying things from you is, is a lot. Um, and you don't need 200, 100, 200 leads a day. You only need like, let's say 20 or 30 leads a day. Um, and again, there's different types of leads, right? If you're, 
if you're in a situation where you don't have a huge audience, what I always say is get people on the phone, get people to text you, get people to call you. And if you have a lot of people texting and calling, calling you, then you would start wanting to build an email list. Okay. So for us, again, um, we're getting about 200 leads per day and we got to think about how can we get more leads? Okay. Um, and I'll talk about that in a second, but we want to think about our other goals. Okay. So we're getting 200 leads per day. We, let's say we want to get to, I don't know, 500. And, and I usually think about it from like a doubling standpoint, right? If you are getting 30 leads a day, go for 60. If you're getting 60 leads a day, go for 120. Don't try to 10 X. I, I don't, I don't like that whole 10 X principle. And it's again, not to talk bad about anybody, but in my opinion, don't try to 10 X anything that's not sustainable. Just double it. Okay. If you can do what you're currently doing, let's say it's 10 leads a day, 20 leads a day, whatever it is, can you double it? Can you get 20 to 40? Because ideally all you have to do to, to double something is either double the quantity of what you're already doing or double the quality. Okay. And ideally if you do both, you could 10 X. Um, but again, the, the, the rule in my opinion should be two X. Okay. So goals, we want, let's say 400 or 500 leads per day. I need somebody to turn off this heater in here. It's getting hot. Let me just send a text really quick. All right. Now we want to go from, let's say, I don't know, what are we making? Like hundred K a month. We want to go from making like 3.3 K a day, a day to let's say six, six point six. Okay. Um, let's say we're getting 2 million views a month on Instagram and we want to get to 4 million. Okay. Now, what do we do to accomplish this? We figure out what are the things that are producing all of these and we, we double down on it, right? We double the quality or we double the quantity. So how do we figure out, first of all, how many leads we're getting or where we're getting all of our leads from? So we're using an email list. I use a tool called ConvertKit. Doesn't really matter what you use to manage your leads, but I use a tool called ConvertKit and I can go and see where all the leads are coming from. I guess go ahead and log in over here. Got two step on everything now. Logging in used to be so simple. Now you have to re-verify on everything. Okay, um, we're gonna go here. So we can see yesterday we got 115 leads from this opt-in. We got 54 leads from this opt-in, 87 leads from this opt-in, okay? Day before we got 175 from this opt-in. And you might be wondering, well, what's an opt-in? An opt-in is basically just a landing page. It's where people can enter their emails to learn more. Now look at this on November 16th, we got 434 opt-ins, uh, leads on this opt-in form. Okay. So we know out of all of our different opt-ins, these are doing the best. Th this specific form is doing the best. So what do we do? We do more of that, right? We advertise that more and then we can actually tie it as well to, okay, well, what form is doing well based on what video? Okay. And then we can start looking at our videos we can say, okay, this type of video is doing well. So we need to do more of those videos. And then all we're really doing is just replicating what works. And the reason why most people don't make a lot of money, again, it's not because they can't, it's because they're trying to go and reinvent the wheel. They're trying to do it themselves. Okay. If you already have success, just go replicate what you did before. And if you don't have success, go follow what someone else is doing that you believe what they're talking about is working. Now that the issue though, is there's a lot of people that are going to tell you, Oh, well, this is working and it's not, or they're going to tell you this is working, but you don't realize that they're super stressed. They're in massive debt. They're very unhappy. They don't like the business model. So do some research before you start going and try to replicate something that somebody else is doing, because you might not actually want to go and do that. Anyways, what do we know works the best for our business? So we know that opt-in is working well. And that's the viral AI clone.com opt-in. We can actually see the conversion rate on it as well. If we go to the actual opt-in itself, you can see it's a 50% conversion rate, which is not terrible. Usually with these types of forms, you have, um, about a 50% conversion rate. If you're getting less than that, if you're getting like 30 or 40% conversion rate, uh, you either have to change the page or stop promoting that opt-in because people don't like it. But um, you can see from Instagram, we got a thousand leads, well, sorry, 1500 leads, 64% conversion rate um, from unknown. We got 67%. That means that's just a direct visit. Uh, Google 53%. So not bad. Now, if we go and start promoting this again, and we get some content that'll pop off, we could ideally get to our 500 leads per day mark pretty quickly. 
Now, if we want to make more money, we need to think about something called um, EPC. Okay, and I always forget the abbreviation for this, but let me just look it up so I don't sound stupid. EPC meaning, and that's not the right meaning. Uh, so earnings per click, okay? So ideally, we want to make a certain amount of money per click, okay? Um, on average, in the niche that we're in, which is AI and money and all that good stuff, we make on average anywhere between one to $2 per click, okay? And the way I know that is because I just go and look at all the metrics. So if I look at this course here, Viral AI Clone, let me actually just show you this here so you can see it. This course has made, I think it's a little under $1 per click. Pulling this over for you here. All right, so we got 18,000 clicks and we got $15,000 in revenue, 146 sales, okay? So um, not the best offer. We've seen offers that have gotten, you know, three to $4 EPC, meaning that if we got 18,000 visits, we made $60,000. But there are certain reasons why this will be lower and what you can do to hire it um, or up it. But on average, um, when you're getting um, viral type traffic, right, you're getting people off Instagram, people off short form, people off YouTube shorts, you're not going to expect to get a huge EPC off that traffic, right? Because these are people that watched a 15 second video and then they clicked on your ad, right? So it's not, um, it's not going to be usually a high EPC, right? So let's say on average, we get about a dollar to $2 per visit per click. And let's say on average, if we look at our seven days, we can see, okay, 1500 clicks, a thousand clicks, 1100 clicks. So we need to figure out how can we get more clicks? If we're making a dollar per click, how do we get more people clicking on our offer? Now, one of the ways is just to get more leads and more views. Um, but again, ideally what it is, it's just re replicating what's working. Where are we getting all of these opt-ins from? And can we get these opt-ins to like 500 to 1,000 leads per day? Um, and really, again, um, if we just start breaking down what we're doing, okay, well, what's bringing in all the traffic and leads? Can we, why is this not wrapping? There we go. Can we double the quantity or the quality? And most of the time, the answer is yes. We could also run ads, but then we're spending money on, and you know, we don't really necessarily have to unless we want to uh, scale. But the more you scale stuff, um, the more things break. So yeah, we could probably double the amount of sales with ads, but we also have to think about what is the consequence of that. You know, we have all these people using our software. Now the software is breaking more, more frequently because there's heavier load. Like you want to think about what you're doing is going to affect the long term. So I like to go as organic as possible. Chase, what's your opinion on creating non real persons, meaning creating an AI influencer to get affiliate sponsorships and more? I think it's a good business model. Um, yeah. So, I mean, a lot of our content, by the way, uh, that's bringing in these leads is like automated, right? So if we go over to Instagram, let me show you this Instagram, Shineify AI, you're going to see all these videos here. 23,000 views, 6,000 views, 16,000 views, 34,000 views. None of those are me talking. It's all AI generated. So the voice, we're using a, a voice generator. We're using a, a script generated by AI. Uh, the only thing that's not really generated is just the, uh, like the videos themselves. Um, and, and it's not that we can't generate them ourselves because we have something like Shineify that can do it, but um, it's because I'm paying an editor to go in and kind of more demo what we're doing. Um, but yeah, I mean, sometimes I'll do the videos myself. You're seeing it right now. Why am I doing the video myself when I can have AI do it? Well, because you you want to, in my opinion, you want to combine them, right? You want to use AI to bring people to the door and then you want to do something like what we're doing here so that you can see that, you know, I'm a real person. I'm not just this Instagram profile or YouTube channel that's just trying to, you know, bring in views with AI and, and then sell somebody on something, right? I want to actually help people educate them and get them what they are here for, which is a relationship. Most people who watch my videos, they want to become more like me. And I'm not saying that like I'm bragging or anything. I'm just saying that people watch me because they want to learn how to do the things that I do. And so if I have too much AI, I have too much automation, what happens is people go, I don't really want to just watch an AI all day. Now, I think at some point people probably will. I think that AI will get so good that AI, that it'll understand what they want better than 
actual people, but I don't think we're there yet. And I think people still want to be around people. So um, either way, uh, let's talk about what we need to do next. So remember the formula that I put earlier, uh, views that go into leads, that go into sales. Now there are certain things that you can do to up your, your, your sales with these leads, right? Because people that are just entering their email and going to a landing page again are probably not gonna buy. If we get 500 people um, a day going and entering their email and just going straight to a landing page, chances of them buying is not very high just because they're brand new. They don't know who we are. They, they just saw our you know, YouTube video or Instagram video short and they go, oh, this is cool, but I don't really know who these people are. So our, our job, our goal is to warm up these leads. How do we do that? We think about things from a seven day time period. And what is the seven day time period? Um, really, it's just a, around an email to two emails a day. And what are we doing on those days? We're sending testimonials, showing people that are happy with the thing that we're selling. We do things like this, like live streams, show that we're real people. We do walkthroughs and tutorials, and we build the trust that we need to build in order to make a sale. And that's all it really is. So, but again, what I recommend is do short form that turns into views, that turns into uh, emails. If you have enough people coming, if you don't from, from the views, if you don't, then I would recommend ha having them send you a text or a phone call. And then from there, you're going to put them into a sale, which is, Hey, buy this thing. And, and what you sell is really kind of up to you. It doesn't really matter. Um, the thing is, is that when you start out, the more time you spend, the more money you'll make. And, and when you start out, you're going to have a lot of time, but no money. And so what I recommend is if you have a lot of time and no money, I would, if I were you, I would start getting people to text you text or call. And then I would start selling some sort of hourly coaching service. I'll walk you through how to get started with AI or with whatever, if you pay me hourly, and then you can use something like Calendly to get them on a booked call where they pay money and pretty straightforward. And by the way, all of this stuff, you can get started when you have a full walkthrough step-by-step -step checklist. And um, it basically shows you, let me see if I can bring this up for you. It basically shows you what you need to do to start selling services around this and start getting views and, and start automating this. Let me uh, just show you this checklist here really quick. One second. And we're still adding to it. I might actually even add to it after this so that you can kind of get as much value as possible. Right now it's actually pretty, uh, pretty affordable. Um, oh, I don't have Outlook to show you this here. I'll just take a screenshot of it so you can see it. All right. This is the uh, checklist here. So inside the checklist, we basically show you how to edit the videos yourself, how to hire somebody if you want to have them uh, make the videos for you and automate the views. We show you how to use your phone if you don't have a computer. We show you how to start finding um, viral videos to react to because one of our strategies in our content is that instead of just going and, and trying to sell people on something, we create videos that are basically reactions to viral content that's already proven to get you know millions and millions of views. And those videos end up taking off a lot more from what we've been testing. Creating your first video, using stock video if you don't wanna use AI video. We show you the basic settings that we use, our export settings, um, our you know captioning settings, everything. Basics of posting content. If you don't wanna use a scheduling tool, we show you how to use a scheduling tool if you wanna use that. We show you how to um, go and acquire brands and Instagram profiles and um, different social media profiles if you don't wanna to wait to warm the accounts up. We show you how to get phone call leads, how to book, app book appointments with them, how to sell them, you know, coaching services. Um, or tools or products. We also give you a whole list of affiliates that we promote ourselves that we make money off of. We give you a list of viral reaction videos that you can use that we've already used that have gotten a lot of views. Um, so we give you pretty much everything you need to get set up. Neil says, I want to buy Shinify. Um, so yeah, Shinify, it's a dollar trial right now if you go to shinify.com. And this just more helps you automate your videos if you don't want to go and actually make them yourself. Um, so one of the things though that we have in process in or oh, sorry uh in progress is the ability to not just do ai generated videos because right now let me uh bring open the notepad again i just realized that i wasn't sharing my screen there we go um right now shinify uh just does ai generated content right so like uh what i mean by that is uh 
you know, it generates the images, it generates the voice, it generates the whole entire video. But what we want to do is we want to have the ability for you to start adding your own clips. So if you want to add a reaction clip or you want to add a clip of yourself or anybody and you still want a voiceover on top of it, uh, Shineify will do that. Um, Isma says, if I already have ShineRanker VIP, do I need to buy Shineify or is it kind of included? Um, no, you should be good. Yeah, you should be fine. We're actually, one of the plans that we have for the, for the platform is that we're probably going to sunset ShineRanker and just have the keyword tool and the AI video clipper integrated over to Shineify and we're just going to redirect that whole site. So anybody that's in either of them, we're just going to combine them. Because ShineRanker is just a tool that I just don't really feel like pursuing anymore. It was something that worked well at the time when we were doing SEO stuff, but I'd rather just focus on the AI video stuff. Just make it easy. Um, by the way, any questions? Uh, Zoltan says, the clone course is fantastic. I use it daily. Are you talking about the AI clone? Um, if you're talking about the AI clone program, um, yeah. And, and we're definitely... we're So one of the things that we're focusing on is we're continually building it out. Um, we're also... As we build it out, we're raising the price and we're just giving all the updates to the people that bought it at its current price. So people that bought it at $97 or whatever it was, um, they automatically get all the updates that we're adding in. So you can get it at viralaiclone.com. And again, this is like really the starting point. If you have no idea how to earn money with AI, with um, you know, with videos, with the formula I was talking about, you would want to go and grab this before we raise the price again. And then you'll get added into all the updates as well. Very well organized. Awesome. Glad, glad to hear it. Um, and yeah, again, I'll, I'll probably end up adding more videos in there um, today just because uh, I need something to work on. So, um, but yeah, that's kind of all it is. Again, like I'm not doing anything super intricate. The only thing I'm really doing is focusing on getting views, turning the views into leads, and then turning the leads into sales um, with an automated follow-up sequence and live streams and whatever we're doing here. So um, if you want to learn that, again, viralaiclone.com. And uh, if you don't want to learn it, no big deal as well. But this is what I found works the best. Um, and it's what I'm going to continue to do to scale between our software company, Shineify, um, and also just like our education with the, you know, uh, checklist we're putting together. Is it live now? Yes. But we are probably heading out pretty soon here. Um, I appreciate you for, for being here. Um, if you're... Uh, interested in staying up to date on these live streams, um, make sure you join the Discord server and um, I will notify you when we go live. You can see I just notified everybody here. I'll put it in chat so you can go check it out. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, I appreciate you for being here and hopefully you enjoyed the live stream. We'll see you next time. Till we do, happy money making. See you, bye.